You are watching New York Giants now by Chats Four Time. Your host Marshall Green. Subscribe to the channel, ladies and gentlemen. Just because just because week one of free agency has come and gone, that does not mean more moves are not going to happen for the New York Giants. And as you know, or if you don't, now you know. If the Giants make a move, we make a video, and I don't want you guys to miss out. So subscribe and turn your notifications on. Sub for Giants Dubs. Cameron Johnson, my man with a two dollar super chat. Trade the first and next year third for Jair Alexander. It's an interesting thought right there, Cam. Um, I kind of see your line of thinking here. If the Packers are going to go ahead and move on from Aaron Rodgers, could they maybe try to unload some of their top prospects, like maybe a Jair Alexander? Interesting. Um, I don't know if I'd want to give up a first round for him, more so because I'd rather just draft a first round corner and then have him cost controlled for the next five seasons Jair Alexander is a hell of a player he'd be the Giants number one corner he'd make them a much better team I just think a first and a third might be a little bit too steep uh for me personally I think Joe Shane wants to get back to his root of team building his roots of team building excuse me and that's building through the draft he's already made some splash signings and he made a splash trade I think he wants to hold on to those picks and kind of build out the roster through the draft I'd love to have him, though, Cam. I'd love to have him. Mitch, my man. Marsh, what do you think the Giants will pick at 25? I think it's a, it's going to be between a center, a corner, or a wide receiver. I truly do. Uh, I think the wild card position could be another edge rusher. Keep your eyes on that. Uh, you're going to need another edge rusher right now. You got Ojolari and you got Kayvon Thibodeau. But after that, you really don't have one. You got Tom and Fox. Um, you need some more depth at that pass rush spot. And the Giants feel like there's an elite pass rusher at that spot when 25's on the clock, I think they could go that avenue. But I think a corner or a wide receiver is most likely going to be the pick. Uh, my number one wide receiver is Jackson Smith and Jigba. Then I have Jordan Addison, then Zay Flowers, then Quinton Johnston. As uh, Ryan Zolchinski just comes in with a question that kind of rolls us right into that. Good job, early. Jackson Smith, Addison, or Quinton. Cheers. That's my order. I, and I have Zay Flowers in front of Quinton Johnston. I think Johnston is a great prospect. I'd be happy if he was a New York Giant, but I do believe that he's somewhat limited as a route runner. And I don't know if that's what the Giants are actually looking for at the wide receiver spot. I think they want versatility. I think they want route running, and they want players that can separate on routes. And Johnson hasn't really shown that he's an elite separator when it comes to running routes. He's great with the football in his hands. It's something that's underrated. Go back to that Michigan game, caught that pass, went up the sideline, and really made some moves. Um, give me Jackson Smith and Jigba. He's my number one wide receiver. Let me ask you guys this question. We're well into in for NFL free agency a couple weeks now, or a week and a half now. What is the Giants' biggest need? What do you think? What is the Giants' biggest remaining need? Is it corner? Is it center? Now that John Feliciano's gone, is it wide receiver? Is it safety? Is it linebacker? Let me know. Sound off for me down below. Matthew Valverde, my man. How would you rank these needs as of now? Interior offensive line, corner, wide receiver, linebacker. I think you're you're in a very close order. I think center is the number one need on this team now. You don't really have a starting center. Is it going to be Ben Bredesen? I'd put corner this is that's the order for me interior offense line corner wide receiver or linebacker um that's that is uh the the order for me interior offensive line corner wide receiver linebacker matthew valverde we appreciate you thank you for enjoying and thank you for reading my mind i think it's center corner wide receiver and i don't even know if linebacker is your fourth biggest need anymore um and maybe it might be but uh you're on the right track matthew appreciate you C note, my man. How do you feel about the NFL possibly letting players wear number zero again? I would love to see someone wear zero for the Giants. I don't care. Uh, I think if you want to wear zero, go ahead and wear zero. I don't think there should be any rules saying you shouldn't be allowed to wear a number, especially after they release, uh, took away the number restrictions for players. I think zero would be pretty damn cool. Bill Harnett, my guy Bill. With Feliciano gone, do we go center first round or wait till the second? Got in late. No problem, Bill. All, you're always welcome. I, yeah, I think you need a center. Um, if the season started today, I think your center, starting center would be Ben Bredesen. And 
You got to get better. You got to get better at that position. You need a talent upgrade. I think center could be your pick at first round. I think it could be your pick at second round. Uh, I keep your eyes on center, wide receiver, and corner as really probably the first three positions that come off the board for the Giants. I think I said it a second ago. would not be shocked if they took an edge rusher. Um, but I think center is probably the biggest need on this team, especially with John Feliciano no longer going to be a New York football giant. John, what up, John? Do you think edge is an underrated need for the Giants right now considering Hattie's pass rush and disease injury history? I do. I think edge rusher is a need for this football team. When you talk about the defensive line, you don't really have depth at that spot. Yes, you brought back Jihad Ward, but I would say he's more of an interior defensive lineman. Not a nose, but more of an interior. And I would say Raheem Nunez Rochez, a.k.a. Nacho, is an interior defensive lineman. You got Thibodeau, you got Aziz Ojolari. Worried about Aziz's health? And even Thibodeau has had some health injuries as well. Health scares, I guess, is a better word there. Um, yeah, I do think edge is an underrated need. I, I think the best teams in the NFL have a rotation of pass rushers. I think the Giants could use another one to come off the edge. And look, you have a stud on the board at 25 that you think could be a 6, 7, 8 sack guy. Not be shocked if that's the pick for the New York football Giants. John, it's a great question, man. We appreciate everyone for tuning in. Make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel because we're getting closer and closer to 26,000 subs here on the channel. When the Giants make a move, we make a video. And make sure to turn on your notifications because breaking news can happen at any time. And I don't want you to miss a video. Hit that bell icon, looks just like that underneath the video. And after you click it, select all. That way you get notified every single time we put out a video. Jupiter, my man, with a $10 super chat, build the O-line and you're set for a long time. There will always be wide receivers. That's a good point. I think you win in the trenches in the National Football League these days. I always just go back to the way that the game unfolded in the playoffs versus the Philadelphia Eagles. Daniel Jones didn't stand a chance back there. He was under pressure. He was under duress. He was having to move without the pocket. And I think that you need to kind of put more talent into that position. You got your left tackle, Andrew Thomas. You got your right tackle, and Evan Neal. Hopefully, Evan Neal takes a step this year. If he doesn't, you got to move him to guard in year three. Uh, I think uh, Glowinski, Mark Glowinski, is solid at right guard. Not great, but you got to hope Marcus McKeith or Joshua Zudu emerges as your starting left guard. You drafted one in the third. I want to say a Zudu or uh, McKeithen was a fifth rounder. Could be wrong. Maybe it was a fourth or a fifth. I know Zudu was a top 100 pick, and you didn't need him to blossom and be a starter. You take someone in the top 100 of the NFL draft, you need him to be a starter. I agree with you, Jupiter. You win in the trenches, you win in this football league, and the Giants, they got to get back to that. Um, always be wide receivers, but you don't want to ignore that position. My man Tuto, Marshy, Giants got all players they've ever wished for now. It's all on coaches to take the Giants to the Super Bowl. No more Evan excuses. Forget about it. You're a lot. You're talented. I mean, there was a talent infusion this offseason. Bobby Okereke. He's a top 10 inside linebacker in the National Football League. Darren Waller could be a top five tight end when healthy. Paris Campbell is solid. Um, you got better in the offseason, no doubt about it. You're not there yet. I don't think this is a Super Bowl roster yet, but you're on the right track. And then for this to be only year two of the rebuild, I think hats off to Joe Shane. He's doing a hell of a job. Coaching, I'm never worried about with Brian Dable. I, I believe in him. Cameron Johnson. Would you draft Addison and trade the second round pick for a good CB2? I love Addison at 25. The reason I'm not willing to trade a second round pick is because if you're trading that pick, that means you're probably trading for a good player, meaning you'd have to pay them a lot of money. The key to winning in the NFL is drafting players and having them outperform the money that you're paying them. The reason draft picks are so valuable is not because you think you're going to be get the next all-time great. It's that they're going to be cost-controlled for the next five seasons. You know how much they're going to make. They can't get a contract extension unless they're just absolutely phenomenal. But that doesn't usually happen until year three. So at minimum, you're getting a cost-controlled player on a very low salary for three seasons. Um, yeah, I, 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 don't, I would not. I would not. I would just draft one. Unless it's a guy that's on a rookie deal. Um, 
Never say never, but I would just rather draft one at 25 or in round two. Anthony, our need is a good safety. I would kind of push back on that a little bit. Xavier McKinney, I think, is one of the best in the business. Uh, Pennock, I thought, played really well last year. And you drafted Dane Belton early in the draft in 2023. I think you're, I know you lost Julian Love, and that may be why you're thinking that, but you're hoping that Pinnock and Belton can be guys that fulfill that need. Um, maybe you look at a guy like Brian Branch, though, at pick number 25, because he could play safety. He could play uh, inside corner. He could play on the slot. He could blitz off the edge. I think Branch would be a great pick at pick number 25, and I think it's someone that the Giants are going to look at. But as far as just a true safety, I wouldn't say that that is the biggest need, uh, considering Xavier McKinney, in my opinion, has all-pro talent. I thought Pinnock and Belton played really well for Big Blue. I like this question. I want you guys to put your GM hat on and let me know. Who should the Giants sign next? Who should it be? Is it OBJ? Is it Zeke? Let me know. Sound off in the comment section. Andrew Long, first super chat on the channel. We appreciate you, Andrew. Should we look at Amos or Peters since Love left? I love Adrian Amos. I always have. I thought he's a great player. I think he's a good blend of speed and physicality. I think he's one of the best tackling safeties in the NFL. While also being able to be a good cover guy and kind of play that center field role. And I also like Marcus Peters as well, cornerback. Um, I always thought Marcus Peters would be a giant considering uh, the uh, connections to the Baltimore Ravens with Wink Martindale and him being the D.C. now. I think maybe uh, you, you look at him. Yes, you talk to him. You see what they want. You see what the market value is. I think, I think the Giants are kind of done spending big, and I don't know how much these guys are going to want. I think both of them at this point, when you're this late in the game in free agency, you kind of get into tier two. You're looking at second – uh, for one-year prove-it deals in the second wave of free agency. Uh, I would prefer Peters over Amos because I think corner is a bigger need than safety. But I think Amos is the better player. I'd look at both of them, no doubt. It's going to come down to the dollars and cents. Jay Lib with a $2 super chat. Worth moving up for Paris Johnson. This is the offensive tackle out of Oklahoma, Ohio State. Um... Moving up, no. You already have your left tackle. You already have your uh, right tackle. Uh, I don't think he's worth moving up for. I think he's going to be a good player. He had that viral clip on Twitter uh, where he just absolutely dominated that kid in high school. Uh, but no, I, I'm not moving up for another tackle. You already got a left. You already got a right. If I'm moving up for someone, the position is going to be corner. If you think you have marked a blue chip corner, and you want to move up from 25, that's probably the, the position I would move up for. If I missed your question, you can always hit me up over on Twitter at Marshall Green underscore. I'm down to chop it up and talk Giants football all day over there with you guys. So just hit me up and send me a DM, and we could chop it up over there.